Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I showcase to you guys another chest you can get in the raid for free. Only thing here is you need a Titan or either a Warlock as far as I know. Hunters cannot get to where you have to jump to, unfortunately. But before we go any further, guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really does help me out, and I do appreciate that support. Also, if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so today I will demonstrate how this chest is obtained on a Titan Warlock. I will link within the video description. Okay, so firstly on your Titan, you need the Lion Rampant, Exotic Legs. You need a Sword and you need the Thunder Crash Super. And you also need Mobility too. Simple. You then need to load up the raid and make your way to the Wall of Wishes secret room. Seen on screen now. You can locate this room from the first encounter. So once in this room, you need to enter this code by shooting these panels, seeing as I do on screen now.
So once you've entered the code, stand on the pad and it will teleport you to Morgoth, the Morgoth encounter. So once here, yeah, you need to have that sword equipped, also have your super, and also be using the Lion Rampant Exotic Legs. And you need to be using the Catapult Jump as well, selected on your Titan subclass. So what you need to do here is head back and jump across this massive gap to nowhere. So giving yourself a massive run up, jump off the edge, get to your highest points, then swing that sword, jump, swing, jump, swing, jump, swing, and so forth until you get close enough to Thunder Crash, obviously pointing up. Now I suck on a Titan, I really do. A lot of people can get across here without even using the super. A lot of people do it the old school D1 method of melee then trigger, then melee then trigger, but this takes crazy timing and I just couldn't get it to work for me. It also doesn't require a super that way. But for me, just jumping, getting to that highest point using the catapult, swinging that sword, getting that initial boost from the jump again, swinging the sword again. This for me was so much easier. Now once you actually get across, people follow the route I take. It takes a little more scaling and so forth, but it's nothing hard to do at all. And guys, that's how you get another raid chest without actually doing any encounters. Again, this can be done on a warlock. I believe it requires a sword and another warp. But I can't demonstrate it to you guys as I haven't even started my warlocks for a second journey yet. But the footage can be found linked within the video description if you are a warlock, guys. Now, what I have figured is, people, if you do travel the way I go on screen now, instead of going to the chest, going all the way back to the first spire, you can actually load friends in on you at this point, meaning they will be on this side of the giant gap, meaning hunters can also get this chest. You just won't be able to make the jump with the hunter. So if you did this on a warlock or a titan, you could then simply load a friend in. Then you can load out and load back in on your hunter. It's as simple as that. People saving the checkpoint and getting a chest on all of your characters. It really is that easy, guys. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, like top fives, guides, gameplays, reviews, absolutely everything, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn on the notifications by hitting that bell button. Again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the